Gravity Group, a manufacturer that even though they may not have the most coasters on their resume, they are still one of the premier wooden manufacturers out there. From the best wooden coaster in the world in Voyage, a spectacular terrain coaster called Ravine Fire 2 and the most compact coaster you will ever see in Boardwalk Bullet, Gravity Group is certainly quality over quantity. Being quite a bit younger than a ton of other manufacturers, they really have built up a reputation on delivering solid rides to pack a punch no matter the size. Though their coasters may not be the smoothest, Gravity Group truly is a solid manufacturer and will be for years to come as that of course what I'll be doing in today's video my top 10 coasters made by the gravity group but most importantly before we start if you're new to the channel make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos on coaches often as it really helps the channel out tremendously also if you want to see more make sure to look at the link in the description where you can see all the coaches are social media accounts including Instagram for updates and much more but now that's out of the way let's jump in to this list coming in at number 10 we have Oscars Wacky Taxi located at Sesame Place near Philadelphia Pennsylvania Though it may be the lowest on this list, this coaster sure does pack in a solid layout as it has so many airtime moments, all of them delivering very decent airtime. But of course, the main takeaway of this coaster is the theme of Oscar's Wacky Taxi. It definitely is so memorable, probably the biggest takeaway of this ride. And overall, this thing is a fantastic number one coaster for this small park. The Sesame Place, the same goes for Wooden Warrior, another great small woody located in Quasi in Middlebury, Connecticut. This coaster is just a little better than Oscar's Wacky Taxi just because, in my opinion, the airtime is a little more prominent and overall the layout is just a little bit better. There isn't really that much else to say about this coaster that I already covered. I mean, it has some great pops of ejector. It's not too rough and overall, it's just a very, very fun ride. Definitely love this coaster a lot as it is for sure one of the best coasters in Connecticut, even in the New England region region of America. But just beating out Wooden Warrior, we have the last miniature wooden coaster made by Gravity Group on this list, and that is, of course, Kentucky Flyer, located at Kentucky Kingdom. This coaster really does beat out both Oscar's Wacky Taxi and Wooden Warrior pretty easily as, in my opinion, it does everything so much better, especially the airtime. This ride is purely just airtime and if you can get some room, you'll get a fantastic ride, even though this coaster is only 47 feet tall, which is just so crazy, it really tells you how good Gravity Group builds their coasters. Everything about this ride is great and is for sure one of the best rides at Kentucky Kingdom, but sticking along with the theme of the best ride in the park, we have one at Bay Beach in Wisconsin, Zippin' Pippin'. Even though I was pretty disappointed after my rides on this thing, it still is a fun experience from the absolutely stunning location to the Ejector Death Hill. Everybody who rides it loves it. Even though the rest of the ride, other than the Ejector Death Hill, may not do anything special, just being a standard Woody, you will still find yourself enjoying the solid ride that is still a super cool landmark as well. Now on to a more inconsistent coaster, let's just say that. We have Mind Blower, located at Fun Spot Kissimmee in Kissimmee, Florida. The reason I say that this thing's inconsistent is because on one day, it's absolutely terrible, just being so rough, and then another day, it's actually pretty smooth and just a super good ride. I decided to give this thing the benefit of a doubt, so I am going to place it as it would be on its best day, as you will find this coaster to be purely out of control. Control, packing in such a major punch. The airtime is super good and whippy, it has a very nice inversion in the corkscrew and it really does have some nice intensity when you come to think about it. I've always had a love-hate relationship with this thing, but for now, it is taking the number 6 spot as just beating it, we have Switchback, just making the top 5. Though it may be short, this coaster sure is a beauty, definitely one of the more unique coasters out there. This park had almost no space to work with when building this thing, so they made up the most of what they had, for sure. I mean, Switchback actually goes through a pre-existing building, which is just absolutely crazy. 
It's jam-packed with so many great turns, airtime pops, the spike is super fun, and overall this coaster is such a fun thing to marathon as it gets close to no line at all. I would definitely recommend taking a visit to ZDTs to experience this ride as it is without a doubt worth your time, especially when visiting the San Antonio area. Probably my hardest decision of this list was choosing between the Switchback and the coaster, taking the number 4 spot, that is Hades 360, located at Mount Olympus. Hades being the only gravity group out of their four woodies, it is a super good ride, though it may not be the best in the park, there are still so many upsides to this coaster. You have the super unique dive under the parking lot, obviously right when you come out is one of the more picturesque spots out there, this coaster can really be magical in some of its world class elements. Backseat is for sure the place to sit on this thing as you'll get the best experience out of the drop out of the station, main drop, corkscrew, and so much more. I definitely do see this thing as overrated compared to the way some people rank it, mainly due to its extreme roughness, but if you put that aside, you really can see the good parts of this coaster and the way it succeeds in delivering such a great ride. Just making the top 3, taking the number 3rd spot is Ravine Fire 2, located at Waldemere and Erie, Pennsylvania. As I mentioned earlier, this ride is for sure a terrain coaster and it definitely uses that to its advantage as you are non-stop flying through this layout other than the dead sections. There are so many fantastic airtime moments, including that incredible drop, the laterals are spectacular, but those views, man, they are just so incredible. Everything about this coaster will wow you as you can easily marathon it so many times. It is truly a masterpiece considering what Gravity Group had to work with. This is an example of why the old school Gravity Groups are the best. The same thing with Boardwalk Bullet located at Kemet Boardwalk near Gavelson, Texas. And if you thought the other coasters on this list were compact, boy you're in for a treat as this coaster is probably the most compact coaster to exist on planet. Planet Earth. It truly is insane on how much this coaster packs into the space provided. You are constantly weaving in and out through the structure packed with so many good elements where you are just thrown out of your seat one after another. It's super smooth as well. Boardwalk Boy is just so masterful on how it executes the ride experience and no question is the best coaster to lie on a boardwalk park out there. But of course, you guessed it, the best wind coaster in the world will be taking the number one spot, that is The Voyage, located at Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana. What else is there to say? You really can't put into words how insanely good this coaster is. Of course, just to add on how good it is, just ride it at Hollywood Nights. That is one of the best coaster experiences you will ever get to experience. I could always understand on how this coaster would be someone's number one. It is that good, and I can never on any day picture any other coaster being a better Gravity Group Woody. So that's gonna end out my countdown of the top 10 gravity group coasters what do you think of this list make sure to post that in the comments below or read every comment love what you guys have to say and of course if you are not already make sure to like comment and of course subscribe for more videos on coasters often now scram